The FAA and UPS IPA Joint Safety Task Force are getting ready to start a fire, but first they need something to burn. So they're putting together a container load of test packages, books and clothes, computers, cell phones, and more than 350 lithium ion batteries to use in a demonstration of fire containment and suppression. We wanted to understand how is this suppression and containment going to work in a, uh, a fire load that represents what we haul day to day. The subject of the test is a prototype A2N container built with new fiber reinforced plastic panels and a built in fire suppression system. The FAA invited UPS to test the container at its technical center in Atlantic City, New Jersey, because the agency also is searching for solutions to in flight cargo fires. We both have a benefit from conducting these tests. We're both learning. Um, uh, we are testing some of the things that we might not have thought of ourselves to test because it's an area that UPS wanted to go in. So I think it's been an excellent relationship where we're both benefiting from it. Ignition for the fire is a heating element surrounded by six lithium ion battery cells. Previous tests have been successful in containing a fire but this demonstration is the first with a load representing customer packages. The first indication of fire is about seven and a half minutes into the test. One of the batteries in the ignition box explodes. Another larger battery explosion 90 seconds later. The container is smoking heavily, but the fire is contained. About 10 minutes into the test, the smoke turns white. The suppression agent has been triggered. In a nearby control room, sensors inside the container show temperatures dropping quickly. Watching the demonstration is an investigator from the NTSB who says UPS's container and suppression solution is very promising. The goals of the NTSB for cargo fire safety are to be able to detect a fire very early and to be able to suppress it before it grows and becomes a threat. And these tests look like they are achieving that uh, objective. The fire goes out quickly, the smoke clears, and after the four-hour demonstration, all that's still burning are some embers in the ignition box. We are able to contain the fire with just containment, um, but adding suppression to it gives the extra benefit of extinguishing the fire within the container. The fire suppressant is so effective that not only is the fire out, but more than 95% of the packages in the container are undamaged, including a bulk shipment of lithium batteries. Right now we just demonstrated that this container can suppress a fire for over four hours and the fire is basically out. And that means the difference between life and death. It allows our crew members the opportunity to get that airplane on the ground safely, save not only the crew, but the airplane and our customers' packages. UPS is still in the research and development phase and there's significant work to be done. The suppression system may be modified and a new solid door has to be designed to replace the fabric roll-up doors used on many types of containers. Once development is complete, any container modifications also must be tested in regular operations and certified by the FAA. But work is continuing and the progress so far has been remarkable. To be looking at a, a ULD that can contain a fire for four hours was unthinkable a year ago. And uh, we continue to see that here at the Tech Center every test we have. What this group has been involved in is something that's going to change the industry. 